Now, for years, I've been using this little uh, deluxe app uh, from uh, called uh, Asset Forge that's uh, created by uh, a developer called Kenny. And uh, definitely uh, have a look. Google it. You can find it. This is really a great tool to quickly prototype uh, assets or even a full level if you wanted to and bring it into uh, Unreal Engine or another 3D uh, software of your choice. I use Unreal Engine and I want to just show you how you could easily create uh, like a little vehicle. And that what I love about this is it's very much like Minecraft and students just love it and they, they love creating stuff in this. And then you can really leverage this by, you know, creating your own game with your own 3D assets. Now I do personally teach Maya and I used to teach Blender as well. Uh, now those tools are awesome and they're industry standard and worth exploring. But if you're looking for something that, you know, you could use in middle school uh, or even, well, obviously high school, because that's what I teach. Uh, it's very, very useful. Okay. So I'm going to start by just going to, uh, Let's say I want to create a vehicle. So I'm going to click aircraft just to, to go and I'll show you a little bit how this tool works. And one of the things to look for is there's a bunch of, uh, you know, quick, uh, you know, icons, but there's mostly the, you know, control Z undo and all that. So I'm going to create a, a space shuttle. Okay. And you see, you have the same indicators you have in any 3d software, and this allows you to move it along the grid. Okay. Uh, and this is kind of the transform is different in most software. So you click on this cube and it makes it wider. Uh, but otherwise it's similar to, and moving around. So right now I'm clicking on my right mouse button and look what it allows me to do. As long as the object is selected, if the object, well, there's only one object right now. So it kind of works well. If I had more than one object, you know, if I move back, here's one of the super tricks for a 3d design, press F and it should zoom in. Well, didn't zoom in. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do that in this software program. Uh, the other thing that's really useful is actually having a mouse. So not a, a trackpad. So if uh, get mice for your students, okay, if you're doing 3D design. Because here's me moving by pressing the middle mouse button. It's just very useful. And in and, and out, like that kind of thing is really useful. So now I'm going to just start creating this really quickly. So I'm going to just click and drag and you can see, you know, right away, this is what you have to do in 3d. Now I think there's a snap feature in here, uh, but I'm just going to go with this cause it's quicker. If I click the shift key and I click drag and because I have the shift key down, it allows me to bring in several. Okay. And you see, boom, I'm going to drop it there. And I'm going to just show you one or two more features. Uh, so maybe I want this to be a part of my ship. I'm going to just move this around. And obviously it doesn't look, I'm not making a plane. I'm creating something new, but I could do this and expand it a little bit. And what I want to do now is I want to mirror it. Okay. Now this tool is kind of like a little bit wonky at first, if you're not used to it. Um, and so I'm going to just drag a second one in. Just give me a second here. I should have dragged two in at first, but I kind of didn't think about it. So I'm just going to put it there. And I think maybe this is the one I want. So that mirrors it that way. I want to mirror it this way. Okay. So you see how I've selected that. And I'm going to just bring this over. And I, you notice I have the grid on. And, you know, here's a trick I also tell my students. Don't bring it into the model if you can avoid it because that could cause some uh i forget what the term is is z z brush kind of phasing or something like that in in uh, your software which you may want to avoid it's not a big deal but you can just try to do it more or less and you see what i'm also doing is i look when you you put it in so i'm going to take this one i'm going to match it up to again try to just like that i'm going to bring it up so I'm just showing kind of like, hmm, so I can see it's a little bit off and I should look at it from several angles and I'm going to go to the top view here. And as I expand it, I want to just make sure it's fine. 
and if it's not, uh, adjust it. It looks like this one's a little bit shorter, so I'll just drag it a little bit more out. And again, you're, this is for prototyping, so it doesn't have to be and I'm zooming in with the mouse. And maybe I want to just like create a really cool, so with the space bar, I just rotate that, drop it. And as you can see, I have to move around. And this, just the practicing of moving around for students is really, really a powerful thing. I think there's a duplicate key, but I can't remember what, what it is. And I apologize if anybody figures it out, put it in the comments. Uh, and I'm going to drop another one of these, you know. Why not have just all kinds of rocket boosters on this? The whole point is it's something for your video game. And I'm just going to put that up here. And again, what you want to do is as you're placing stuff, move around. So you click on the arrow. That's really important. Don't click on the middle one if you can avoid it. I find it so much easier if you're clicking on the arrows to play something. And let's, you know, I'm just creating something random here. I'm going to zoom up. And as you can see, I think it would look better if I move this one over a little bit, you know, sort of iterating as I design. And I'm going to double check from several angles. So this one, probably they need to be a little bit more down. Um, and I'll move this in just a little bit so that they're even. And then I'll look at it from another angle. This one's down too much. So, you know, the, it's important that students take their time. Now, since this is a tutorial, I'm going to stop there. What I want to do now is file. Let's pretend I'm not done. I'm going to save this in a safe location, and I'll call this, uh, I'll save it in my folder called Asset Forge, and I'll call it Plane One or something. So I'll delete that. Plane One is not really a plane, but that's, not, that's fine. And so I could come back tomorrow and open that and continue working on it. Let's pretend I'm done. File, export model. Default's usually on OBJ. Since I work with Unreal Engine, I prefer FBX. They both work, but it's just quicker. So click export and you're done. Okay. So now this plane is going to be an FBX file. So this is the one you upload to Unreal Engine or Twin Motion. If you use Twin Motion, believe it or not, you can actually bring this in as well. To add some cool little assets and I see a little bit that it's off here but for now I think that's good uh, if you have any other questions please let me know great tool you can also install it on multiple computers uh, and you can just need to buy one license is my understanding uh, very powerful tool for prototyping for students